Welcome back, this is Sexy Brutiel. Last time, well, we got through the two first levels, or at least stories of this, and this time we're going to continue. I don't know if, what this game's supposed to be just, just yet. Like, it feels like it wants to be a puzzle game, but the first two, like, segments, I kind of just bumbled my way through. The Casino. The Marquee Show. It's at 7 p.m. as usual. Take a look at that whole map. It looks like this is where we're going, going to be spending most of our time in this part of the casino. Last time, of course, we saved, uh, who was it? We can actually see them here. We saved Clay and Trinity. Trinity was, of course, tied up by a spider, and Clay had to come to her rescue. <laughs> when I say I bumbled into it, I just sort of, I don't know, turned on some cameras, and then Clay managed to see her being tied up. Not really had what I had planned, I was just sort of experimenting. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we actually have backstories for all of them. He's the head of security for the Sexy Brew DL. But I think, hmm, well, whatever. He's powerful and intimidating. But he and his gentler brother, the croupier Red, oversaw the most successful and influential evenings at the Sexy Brew DL. Clay's background is a prize fire, which means he's not the most beautiful of men. But his extraordinary wife still found something deep and good in his voice and actions, and enough at least to overcome his exterior roughness. Clay has struggled with drink, but never had any trouble staying sober while on duty. Shifting his addictive nature to focusing on work meant that he was truly an effective partner to the Marquis. But one that with a darker side. Alright, do we have Trini in here? No, we just have him? Huh. Interesting. He's not just a guest, though, apparently. What's your poison bar? Touch of exotic venom, huh? Neat. All right, who are we trying to save this round is my question. We have something on the map. Apparently, there's something happening maybe in that room. Let's go take a look-see. Well, nothing's actually in here. Oh, maybe I'm not there yet. Where the hell am I? Okay, so we can see Clay. Interesting. I wonder what it's trying to tell me here. Because we can't, we can look in here. This is where Trinity should be. Oh wait, no, that's uh, one of our friends. With question marks. We did save them in this reality, right? Yeah, there's Trinity and Clay having a discussion back there. We did save them. Or maybe it has acknowledged that I saved them for some reason? Because it hasn't told us about the next person to save. Hmm. Maybe the game is silly right now. Uh-oh. He's gonna eat me! Can't go in there. Still start- Oh shoot, is that- it's on the top? Oops. Thank you there, Griff. I count on you and everyone else for that sort of thing. I <sighs> can't believe this shit. Anywho. Yeah, I guess it just hasn't acknowledged that we've saved them yet. For some reason. Well, you don't want to go in there, Lethal. Well, at least we know what we're doing here. All we need to do is go get the codes and then we can make progress. Okay, sounds like it's safe in here for a second. Oh. Don't eat me. I gonna say we should be safe to go back here now. Did we ever look at this thing? I think we did. Bo impossibly smooth to the touch is the work of a master artist. There's a moth carved into the base. There we go. Key for code for the security panels.
So we'll do what we did last time and just turn this on. Uh oh, someone's in here. Damn it. Sorry, sir. Did not mean to upset you. Okay, he's putting in the code. As you do. Oh, and he's coming back with the poison. Oh, there's someone in here, too, or is it the same room? Alright, there's the camera we need to turn on. Oh, we do have our mask, though. Huh. So we did do it. There must be someone else who's being, who's being killed this time. Or maybe I'm just stupid and I don't realize what I'm doing wrong. Because we do have her mask. Her perfect hearing. We did get that after the last time. Well, maybe we'll find some other people to save then. Let's just have a look-see around. Hmm. All manner of shit is being broken. I still can't go in there. It's very cold and something's blocking your way. Whoa, getting some frame drops there. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm being incredibly stupid, go ahead and just tell me in chat. <laughs> I mean, in context of this game. There was this gentleman over here I guess we could check out. Oh, I didn't change over that either. Man, I'm really off the ball today. <laughs> Let me get you the real explain. There you go. I wish there was a more clear way to do that. Yeah, we had these things, so I wonder if we could use those. To make some progress. Hmm. I can use my watch on this? Isn't particularly useful. Well, why is it an option to use then, damn it? Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the 12 pages of the Codex Gigas. No, oh, who the fuck is that? Was that the Marquis? I've never seen a mask like that before. Uh huh, one of the lost pages of the Book of Lethe. There's that gentleman. I don't know who that is. He's gonna need a drink after all this. Make me walk across this to fix his statues. Tell me the spook stories about his staff. This guy has all sorts of, like, pliers and stuff on him. He's clearly the fix-it man. I mean, he said it as much, right? They only missed this fella. Alright, so he sets that one to spades. I guess we could track whoever this gentleman is, see what he does. Yeah, right now on our watch, we don't actually have anyone dying. Is he just gonna stand there? Hey, there's actually something on the floor over there. Some kind of wind-up key. Is he gonna go pick it up? 
No, he's just gonna waltz on by it. Huh. Yeah, maybe I'm thick, but the game's not doing me any favors trying to illustrate what I what my goals are here. Like it did last time. It's all save these people. I'm all, okay. Maybe I need to progress to a new place. Open the room. I guess we could save them again. Because this is where she is. She be, should be all tied up right now. And she is. Powers being all flickery. No, oh, he's already drank the sup. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, let's go ahead and restart the day. Clay just fucking died as I did that. Which is the funny part. Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Hmm. Now go ahead and advance it to 8 o'clock. A lot of shit going on here. Go get the codes. Let's switch to TV, then we'll turn it on. Wait, he just drank it? Nah, he hasn't drank it yet. Man, it's kind of creepy. Just a little bit. here again. Maybe you'll give me some hints? Splatoon woman? Boone, it's more its more than possible to say the same guess over and over. But you need to help them all. You need to find what is at the heart of all of this. Put an end to it. You have Trinity's power. You can now use it to open doors that were locked before. Ah, okay, I understand. So, whenever we hear them go, dee 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 dee, we can actually listen to that and understand what it is. Okay. So there's the casino. Okay. Now I understand what you're saying. Good, 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 good. Sorry, it's been a while since we actually did this. <laughs> like, it wasn't even making it clear that I still had that power. Alright. So we can use that to get the codes. Let's look at the map and figure out where we haven't been. We, of course, haven't been in Trin Trinity's room. We could do that. Uh, we haven't been into the room back here, but I don't know if that one has a keypad we can access, if it's one of those fire doors. Are there any... There's also this one right here. That one, I believe, has a thing. Yes, it does. Can I hide in that? No. So if I watch whoever goes in here, we can figure out what it is. Hear someone walking around. There's also that door there, which leads into her room, if I'm not mistaken. He's currently in there. Are you gonna come out of there or what? 
Okay, he already has, apparently. Well, Trinity should be in here. This one should actually be opened eventually. A lot of waiting in this game. Waiting, watching. Oh, the excitement, the romance, the danger. That is the sexy Brutial. I wonder if I could grab that glass, actually. Hey there, Brutero, welcome back. Happy election, miss. <laughs> Drinks on the table. They've only been left here moments ago. Oh shit. Oh, I can't get in there. Uh oh. She's gonna murder it, Lear, little me. Don't do it! Alright, so now if I use your power. Oh, sorry, but no entry, please. This room is off limits. Off limits? Since when are rooms off limits? Well, it's a surprise, ma'am. Now, now what have I said? Dash it all. A surprise? Oh, don't worry. I don't want to ruin any surprises. She's, of course, blind. Can you look through the door? Could have seen what that door code was and gone in there. There's a whole reason we were there, Lethal. What time was that? That was about three. Is she gonna be in here too? Nope. Can you please look? Thank you. How do I use my power again? Okay, so she heard the actual gunshot that had occurred there. What was that noise? Hmm. Maybe I don't understand. Maybe I have to be in this actual thing. There's also a whole lot of shit going on over in the cathedral. Need to look through the door. That's what I'm thinking, unfortunately. All right, that was just about four when that happened. So let's go ahead and reset the day. I'm sorry, everybody. I have a feeling that's going to be kind of a thing with this game is just like wasting time. But in a world where you have infinite time, that's bound to happen. I didn't have a prompt to actually use my mask in there. That's why I'm kind of confused. Hey there, Kami-sama. I'm just bumbling through this game with no clear direction at this point. We, of course, got the mask last time, Daikami-sama. I'm just trying to figure out... Okay, so I need to look through the door and then press R, right trigger. And then I might be able to actually see things. How much did you miss? You haven't missed anything. <laughs> like I said, I've literally just been bumbling around like a dipstick. Okay, so maybe if I'm in the room, too, I can actually hear it as well. I wish there was a way just to make time go faster while I'm in here. No, I don't want to reset the day. I'd like to actually just go faster. Damn it. Yeah, one, one thing about this game, Daikami-sama, of course, you're the one who requested this is uh, the first two levels gave me some pretty clear, dire clear direction. This time it's not giving me nearly as much. Let's see, is that gentleman in here? Oh, he is. Let's just watch him. Oh, is it made out of like spider juice too? Done and done. At least this gives us something to fucking do. Alright, now he's gonna exit the room with that, or is he just gonna stand there like a dipstick? Okay, here he comes. Let's jump in here.
We'll go ahead and shadow number four here. He seems to be going places. Yes, yes. A surprise. Wouldn't want to ruin any surprises. Can <laughs> virtually hear the inverted commas. Are you going to lock that door? Can we actually hear it? I'm holding down the right trigger. You can see the mask on screen. 5564. Five, Fantastic. So we had to at least be in the room or looking through the door. Camera three turned off. Wow, they give us a lot of clues that we didn't see. And then she, of course, comes right back in here. And she heard it too. And all the doors open in an instant. There we go, she uses the same one. Now the real question is, do I know that between things, right? Yes, yes, you heard it. Now go in your room. She puts it in again. I mean, when she's tied up, surely we can go in there, right? Yo, I have to reset the day and see if we remember that password. If we don't, that's kind of horse cock, to be honest. <laughs> Although, I mean, we forget the key codes to the, uh, the cameras, so why wouldn't we, right? I hear wings. Butterflies? I think she just stands in there for forever before uh, the spider comes down. A drink stray? You're removing the romantic surprise. You're doing so bad. Uh-huh. Okay, I think she's just gonna... Yeah, you can jump forward in time if you want. Let's go ahead and do that. We still don't know this one. Although I'm pretty sure someone goes in there. I'm not sure when. Maybe after he gives him the drink? Let's we'll see if we can't track down that gentleman. Okay, there you are. Nothing here. All right, let's jump forward in time then. All right, you should be all tied up now, right? No, not yet. So I still can't go in there. You know what? We're going to reset the day. I just want to see if I can get in that room. Or if I magically forgot the key code. Please don't forget the key code. I mean, I remember everything else. Out of character from the previous day. And clearly in character. Because I know what's going to happen. There's only a small window to get in there, though. Yeah, I need to get in there. That's what I really need. Alright, do you remember the key code? He does! Good. I know going in there is a terrible idea, but I just wanted to see if I could. Hmm. Alright, good. Can I also do this? Or did I forget that, too? No, okay, I can. I wonder what happens if I turn this on too early. Like, he, we already have him in there doing his nefarious deeds. Oh. Hey, I can listen to that one, too. We'll see where that one goes. Oh, it's just the same... 
Are you kidding me? They're all the same? I bet you I can actually just get into that room that we just looked at. Oh, we can just go into this room? He's already gone? Yeah, we'll see if we can go through that first door because it looks like we can just go in there. A spiky box with a big padlock. Fantastic. A stacks of ledgers here. Rows and rows of figures. Can you please look through the door? All right, there's something in the fireplace. We actually have new content now. How about that? Tiny moth marked on one of the cards. The fireplace is huge and extends deep into the wall. There is a tiny carving of a moth on one side. Does that mean we can go through? We got a ten of spades. Fantastic. My life is complete. Statue shows a girl weeping over two dice marked with skulls. It's troubling. There's a moth marked on one of the dice. Uh oh. He's coming to get me. No. All right, well, there's no other place for him to go, so he's just going to come in this room. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see if we can go open that other door, shall we? I'm so annoyed that everything has the same key code. Security-wise, that's just such a terrible idea. All right. So that's what the game was trying to tell us with those things is like, we can listen there for the code. And it is the same for all these, God damn it. I figured they'd all have different ones because that's sensible. All right, three clubs. Bang is a maelstrom of chaos and darkness. It is not wel welcoming. Four scene, blurred and strange. Or a skyline? A sail, a building, or a traveler? It's impossible to tell. What is this? A vent? A man sized vent? Look, look. Hmm. A wine cellar, huh? Looks like a place we'll want to go. Doesn't sound. You make this sound like a sensible game, isn't it? Recognize the statue as Car Carrington without needing to check for the moth mark. I think they all are. What's this? You got a key of old habits. Where does this go? Thought Lethal as he ascended the stairs. Oh man, there's all sorts of new content now after that first few moments of just bumbling around like an idiot. The cabinet is empty and gives you a strange feeling of deja vu or has it not happened yet? Well, it hasn't happened yet, yet. Apparently that has is a thing of consequence. Let's see if we can't find a clock real quick. <laughs> There's all sorts of interesting shit in here. There's that key from earlier. Oh. What? Willow Blue, the flame in the dark. Apparently this is the next person we're saving. You can actually go through the door, someone comes through it. Sort of bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so this is the next person we must save. She's apparently around here somewhere. I'm trying to find a, a clock. A clock? Is there no clock? That is something in there. What is that? A lamprey. Knows the bastard of the deep is highly unpleasant character is a reminder to us that life is ugly and draining as it is beautiful and noble. That's good. Here we go. An ornate. It, it needs to be wound. Well, guess what? There's no obvious way to use that with the clock. Okay. Uh. Nothing. Perhaps if the key it was wound. Okay, so I need to go get that one winding key we saw earlier. Damn it. I walked through the door. Unfortunately, that's her. Might as well see what she's doing. Is she gonna fucking hang herself? Can I go in there now? Of course, the mask is all, hey, hey, we're having a moment here, you asshole. Well, that's fucking morbid. Let's see if I can wind the key and maybe prevent this. Wasn't it just in here? 
that's also a very interesting room. We need to look at all that stuff. Where did I see that key? There it is. We got time. Let's look around a little bit. There's another box. I wonder if I could use my key on that. The Devil Monarch Fish, a variant of the Devil's Hole Pup Fish, a fish in approximate is yeah, let's try that. A fish in approximately 100th generation develops into a monarch mutation. Neat. Yeah, we have this key here. Can we use this? No. A spiky box with a padlock. What's this? The seeing in this room has a clear VIP feel to it. Now let's look at some of these other things. The scorpion fish, a fierce beauty with striking colors. A single drop of its poison is used in the in the abysmal bite cocktail available at the casino bar. Fantastic. The dogfish, a sleek little shark, was rescued from an inscrupulous from an inscrupulous restaurant. Has far so far eaten a small fortune in, in exotic tank baits. Well, that's unfortunate. Trans transcendent an angelfish. Why am I having so much trouble? Fucking Christ, lethal. Cruel selective breeding has created this exquisite angelfish variant. It has no mouth and exists only for decoration. That's kind of fucked up. All right, you're not no longer volatile. A bone key. Bone key is ready. Her body swings from from the darkness above. It sure does. All right, let's go ahead and wind this sucker up, shall we? Let's go ahead and tune our tune our watch to it. Come on, game. A golden koi, ten generations of koi have been bred on pure gold flakes to create this stunning creature of <laughs> with solid gold sails. Donated by our friend Orum. Alright, whoever the hell that is. See what else we can see up here. We have a hungry charm. What the hell is all this junk that we have acquired? All right, so we have a heavy rusted key that exudes menace. A bone key, a slender key made out of fucking bone. It is eerily warm. A hungry charm, a grim look looking fetish. Its eyes are closed and its mouth is open and hungry looking. Are its eyes closed? I'll have to take your uh, I'll have to take your word for it, game. It doesn't look that closed. So it was de donated by my stepbrother who doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He doesn't have dyslexia. Unlike Lethal today. A pom-pom fish. This puffback fish has long hair-like fins and looks like an indignant, an indignant drowned rat. What other places haven't we been up here? There's all sorts of rooms. Okay, we haven't been to the room of the right. Let's just go ahead and stick our little noses in there real quick. This looks like she, where she probably hangs out. I also think I see a place for the hungry fetish. The bed is ex is an extraordinary vision of gothic decadence. It looks like it has not been slept in for a long time. Time's about to reset. Uh-huh. What if I put this here? Does not unlock the desk. What about the bone key? All right, bone key goes there. What do we have in here? This contains some sort of recipe for something called the Hungry Charm. Don't already have that. All right, time's going to reset. God damn it. No! Okay, so I lost those. Is it going to remain open? All right, let's see if we can track down our person to save. What the hell is her name again? Her name is Willow Blue. We can't see her on the map yet because we have not seen where she, like, lives. I'm guessing she might be in that room directly above us. Let's listen to her and see if we can get any clues on how to save her. She dies at 7, according to the clock. Oh, she's not in there. That's the art room. 
There's that chest again. Let's go through this room and get to the bedroom. She's probably over there. And we'll look at the descriptions of these in a bit. No, she's not in there, huh? All right, you open now? Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't have the key for that. Son of a bitch. Oh. Keep your filthy hands to yourself. What? All right, we found her, so we can go ahead and do this. No, I didn't mean... Darling, you've been acting weird, all cooped up in that room alone. I hear you at night, you know. It's creepy is what it is, creepy. All right. Well, at least she'll be safe. Oh. Ah! Oh, you can hear her thoughts. The missing charm worries me, but without the recipe, I'm coming for you, beastie. Okay, she's, she needs the charm. I'll stop you from spreading your poison. Now back to the tank. I think I dropped my invitation. This is mostly going to be shadowing her for the moment to see what the hell we can do to save her. But apparently the hungry charm is something, you know, important. Is she going to say anything? Good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. A secret passage? What? Well, shit. I can't look through the painting, obviously. A small desk, presumably for writing or sketching. Can I hear through the wall? There's someone else on the side of that. Beast liar! I know you are. I know what you are. Show your face. Okay, I can go through there now with in safety. What the fuck is this? I can't look through the door here either. Oh, is she coming back? Uh huh. Oh shit. Okay, I think that was that. Swamp blood ruined something or other. Darkness, but you, you, your poison will. Something to that effect. The hell is she doing in there? It's good we have this whole listening ability. No. No! There's some manner of struggle going on in there. You are poison, you are, you. So I'm guessing something has uh, compelled her to hang herself. What that is, is anyone's guess. I, I hear you. I think I have an idea of how we can make this happen. If we can drop that skull in front of the door, she would never go in here. Oh, she come back. She come back, yo. Get in the thing. Yeah, she didn't look quite right. Ah, the flame. A face in the dark. My candles, they will reveal. I miss you. I miss you so much. All right. Hey, her head is cocked in a weird way. I don't think that's normal. The path is clear to me. Why would I resist? And here she goes, killing herself again. Well, we know how that happens. So let's go see what else we got here. There's a chalk sketch on the canvas. It's a different feel from all the other paintings in the room. Like it was scribbled in a hurry or a panic. The canvas has been blacked out. Looking very closely, it seems as though there was a painting of a couple smiling under layers of black paint. Tables filled with art supplies. All tubes of fluorescent white seem to be van seem to be missing. Rather, a small desk, presumably for sketching. Canvas. Let's see. A stack of canvases are stacked against the wall. There she goes, killing herself. They are initialed E B. 
All right, let's see what the hell's in this room and also read this a little more closely. An enormous, impossible change to spend a glowing skull over the doorway it radiates a sense of revulsion and dread. It's sealed by the enormous skull. You cannot enter. Fucking horse dicks. All right. So something works on that. I gotta remember where that key is real quick. We have that whole bone key. I think that's in the room to the north of us, not this room. Oh wait, no, there's the bone key, right? No, that's the VIP feel. Maybe if I get in there and unlock it, she'll be like, oh my god, I can use this now. Where was that bone key? We haven't been in this room. Let's check it out. Uh-huh. The music rooms. I don't think these ones are relevant to our current one. Roaring fire, it's intensity, makes your heart race. Huge and extends deep into the wall. There is a tiny carving of a moth, because of fucking course there is. Let's check out these other rooms here. Since they are relevant. At least the- I, I'm stor sorry to infer this stuff. Interesting! I could be in that room without my mask going crazy. I can still be in that room. Oh wait, he got away. Come back here, you. Wait. Where the fuck did he go? Huh. I think I I think I understand already. Maybe someone else has the same abilities I do. Oh, we got some other stuff in here. Let's take a look, see. There's makeup spread across the desk as well as a pen and writing paper. It looks like the top sheet has been torn off. The water is seeping through the seeping through and pooling on the floor. The wall is damp to the touch. That's odd. A painting of Tequila Bell is signed E Bonds. I'm guessing E Bonds is the guy that this woman cares for. All right, so we have the whole like setting of this current murder set up. We have some points of interest. I think that's what those are. I need to locate that bone key again. I don't remember where the hell I found that even. I thought it was downstairs, to be honest. There's the hungry charm. So that's located right here on the left. So I could go in here, grab this, maybe put it in the chest or something. That would make kind of sense. That seems to be pretty key to this whole thing. Hey there. How you doing? Just hanging out? Okay. Oh, there's the bone key right there. Damn it. All right. All right. I think I have some inkling of what to do. Let's go ahead and reset time. We're gonna go grab the key, we're gonna go grab the fetish, and then we're gonna go in there. Maybe she has those things, she won't get taken over, and then kill herself. I think that's what we need to do. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be having fun hanging around. Let's go in here and grab this one first, it's on the way. Mike, don't you open that door. Lethals only. I'm liking it a bit. It was a little obtuse at the beginning of this session because I didn't know what I need to do. Also, that's interesting. I can use that on the lamprey? Let's, uh, let's see what that does. Blood flows into the charm and it murmurs softly, asking for more. That's good. I was going to say, wasn't one of you other fish kind of an asshole? Are you an asshole, giant fish? You are. All right, that looks pretty good. Sated Hungry Charm. So maybe if I go and put this into her thing, her box, this will actually be good. Oh, 
Hopefully she's not in there already. She's in there already. God damn it. Maybe I can use this on the skull in here before she arrives. The door's in ceiling. Fantastic. All right, what the hell's in here? There's a fucking fish. The enormous tank is filled with water and a tiny colorful fish swims in the dark. I think I need to go up here if I had my guess. Oh, what the fuck is going on there? Okay. Oh, I, do I need to hold it? Huh. But if she comes in this room, aren't I gonna get fucked? Okay, she can't see me. I know what you are. Show your face. She can get splashed or what? Oh, I see. She starts this ritual and we're gonna fuck with it. Upstairs is technically another room. Swamp blood runs in these veins. Uh-huh. Is it gonna do the water again? I hope it does. The darkness, it's you, you're the poison I <laughs> that will. Uh oh. I'm afraid this isn't gonna work. Or something stupid is gonna happen here. Like, I don't understand why the water would stop, but. There we go. I will not hear you. Fantastic. I think we've survived. Easy enough. Again, that's how I feel about this game, is like, I, I don't feel like I'm really solving puzzles, but this is a pretty cool room. Lafcadio, why are you here? Apparently, they know Lafcadio, too. How can you recognize him with that thing on his face? Hmm? I was... I was going to do something terrible. I don't want to, I don't. I'm just so tired, Laffy. I'm just so tired and so lonely. Why do I feel alone when they're <laughs> when they're close to me? So close. I was going to do something terrible. Yes, you said this. But now you're here, and thank you. I'm <laughs> starting to wonder if this is a puzzle game. It's hard to describe what this game is. It's almost a puzzle game? It's almost like a reverse hitman, is what I like to call it. Hitman's not exactly a puzzle game either. Take her mask. Okay. Willow's second sight. Willow's mask allows you to see things others cannot. The ghosts in the mansion will appear in an, as an eerie blue cloud. I think we've seen one of those actually before. Or no, no, I'm thinking of a... <laughs> It's funny, I was just watching Ross Scott of the Game Dungeon and also, like, uh, Freeman's Mind fame. He was doing a Game Dungeon on, uh, Demonium or Demonic or something like that, and he was, like, talking to the demons and they were in a little blue cloud, so that's why I'm cut fucking confused. Anyway, Light Willow's voodoo calendars reveal the ghosts, allowing you to see them and hear them and talk to them. I see. I gotta light the candles. Can I do that with a mask, or do I need a lighter? Willow can see things others cannot. Her mask and her candles... With her mask and her candles, you can too. There's more of this place than you know. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, Daemonica. That's what was that guy. Hello, what the fuck? I just looked away. I looked away at chat, and then I looked back, and that fish has uh, it, it's changed. Hello there, Grinma. 
Don't think that you'll win. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's time, girl. Who's speaking now? There's always time. I guess this is the fish fucking talking. <laughs> there's always time. Tee hee hee hee. Oh, that's fucking spooky. Ow! So if I want to go and talk to that fish again, do I actually have to open that up? Well, that was fun. Let's see if we can't find anyone else to save. Yes, that's the marquee. Where have we not been? We've been there, of course. It's still giving us the things on there. I'm not sure why. We know that two's up there. I believe that's the place that crosses over. I wonder if we could see what he's doing real quick. And then we'll head up. What the fuck was that? Uh-huh. Lays... Uh-huh. Interesting things. Things a colossal pervert like myself would find worthwhile. Not discussing lumps of skull on a string. Poor show. Okay. Interesting. Who the fuck is that? Tequila, please, stay out of my painting room. Willow, sweetheart, I have it. I have to dash. You're speaking so fast. Do you have a comb that I could borrow? Apparently this ghost likes that person. Ah, she's talking to the ghost. What? You stupid witch spoiling my fun. No, I didn't mean... Not like I had... You have true size, vile streak of candles, brr. <laughs> All right, so there's just a misunderstanding. It makes sense now. Well, uh, maybe we'll have to save this woman then. I've seen that person before. I've seen that person. We haven't seen her standing up. I When she walked away, I've seen her dress. She was in the spider room. Can you look through the door, mate? Thank you. Yeah, we can't get in there, but there's a card. We might as well pick it up. Okay, so that's the candle, huh? What's in here? Have we looked in here? This is the painting room? Yeah, we've been there. Yes, ghost. Yes, ghost. All right, where have we been up here? We haven't been to the left. Let's see if we can't track down that person. There's someone in here. Bro, oh, what? <laughs> she walked right into my person. It remembers the important places, uh-huh. You can save them multiple times if you like, yeah. I did notice that. This whole ghost thing is kind of pissing me off, to be honest. All right, you went up there. Let's keep following you. Let's see where you go. Apparently you're not in there. Oh, there's ghosties, though. There's all kinds of ghosties. Are they not gonna let me go past? That's how this is gonna be, isn't it? Excuse me. Let's see, these are obviously pirates. Are you here to see Miss Bell perform too? Please don't let us stop ya. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thanks, Ghosty. So maybe I couldn't go in there before because I didn't have this power. There you go. So Tequila Bell is our next one, the Southern Siren. All right, nifty. People are getting shot. I feel like we've seen a room like this before. Eh, nothing important going on in there. Let's go ahead and just pop our heads wherever we can. There's so many effects on screen now. What is this? An urn made of delicate mo mosaic glass. Fantabuloso, what's in here? Nothing, just fucking things breaking. That looks like a safe for a dumbwaiter. A chute that leads to the floor below is a faint smell of plants and water. All right, cool. What do you want me to look at here? The relevant rooms are not actually marked. There might be a clock around here. There is a clock. Hello, clock. Needs to be wound like every damn clock. Someone's in here. Let's take a look. There she is. I'm quite competent, I assure you. 
There's a thing on the counter there. Well, they're used to seeing along to my drunk whatever. Uh-huh. I'm sure we can make this work. Haha, <laughs> marvelous. There's one more little surprise. Oh, yeah? I've sourced a rather special piece of sheet music. I think that you'll find it very much to your taste. <laughs> Musical dots. What? How did you get this? This is a private song. I wouldn't... Miss Bell, please. We have already started. Fine, I will sing. My glasses are ridiculous. They look like musical notes. The show will be started in one hour. Oh, there's another ghost in there. Uh oh. Uh huh. Marvelous, marvelous. Help, help someone. Help. She gonna come in this room? Oh, my dear, of course I will help. Please lead the way. Let's go watch him. Deep down, you're a jealous, poisonous siren, Miss Bell. You're... I will have a glorious glittering death. Ah, I see. He dumped her in the chute. That's why we saw her. Hop. <laughs> Hop. Hop. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Bell. Fantastic. What is this thing? A storage closet key. I see. There's a key. Let's grab that and get this reset real quick. Or get our watch set up. We'll need to get a candle in here. What's that? Uh-huh. Refined carnage. Scattered all over. Okay. Oh, there's the thing. So I do need a lighter to set that ablaze. Okay. Maybe if I... I bet you if I get the ghost to come, they'll go ahead and save her ass because they love her. Oh, there's the clock lethal. You probably should have turned that on. All right, so I need to get something to light those. I think that's the first part of this. Go and set up our watch. There we go. And then we shall tune the watch. Now, if I had my guess, if I had my guess, the storage closet has what we need. And I bet you that room right there, I just tapped my screen, is where we need to go. We have a couple hours to check this out. What's this? An old fashioned vinyl record player. There's nothing but a turntable. Staff uniforms. Instruments and other musical paraphernalia hidden under the dusty sheets. A nine of diamonds. Alrighty, what's this? A bell for calling servants from downstairs. Alright, so that would be something like a hitman item. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back to this room. Let's see what we can't figure out. What is this? Uh-huh. That bell might be what we need. Because we need to turn this on somehow. It's curiously cold. Let's see what this thing is. 
Split cabinet shows a saxophone used by the <laughs> blues legend Fats Snap. The cabinet is unlocked, and anyone is free to play the instrument. That's kind of nice of them, and also kind of reckless, but whatever. The shallow pole is surrounded by marble instruments. It's like a humble shrine to music. There's a little, <laughs> little fish skeletons in the water. Well, that's fucking good. Until tomorrow. The humanity. Why? Perfect voice silence. Well, monster. Can you all say the same thing? Y'all got any, like, matchsticks or something, dudes? Uh huh, yeah, we're actually in the midfield. Let me grab the card. Alright, where the hell can we find something to light that? I lost the storage key, what the fuck ever. Can I use that to maybe open the boxes I've seen? Flamethrower? If I could only find one. There's someone in there already. You're playing that, so I can't exactly go in there at the moment. <sighs> hmm. What are these? What does that mean? Is there a legend on this thing? <laughs> you can't just give me a bunch of things. Like, I know what that is. That's man. That's me. I don't see him in there, which is odd, because I know he's in there. That's, of course, where the skull business happened. Hmm. X marks the spot. It's more, more clear than the Daggerfall map. Not by much, but yes. Alrighty. Hmm. I took the record. I got the purple vinyl record. Maybe that'll change things. There was another record, wasn't there? There was another record. I can't remember where it was. I think it was downstairs somewhere. You know what I mean? That was in the bar, if I remember correctly. Am I crazy? Okay. How do I get to the bar quickly? Uh, the stairs are somewhere around here. I think they're down there. Hey there, ghosties. Drop you. Please have to you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I might be crazy here, but I'm almost certain I found one. So maybe if I replace the record with that record, it'll have a different outcome, right? That's gotta be it, thought lethal. What's that? Ah, yes, the key of old habits. I don't know what the hell that's for either. Okay, so that's where they all are. We are currently around here somewhere. Yeah. So I need to go down one room, oh, around the corner, get into the bar. There's that gentleman again. He was there at like one o'clock, 1.30. Oh, I can't go in there right now, Lethal. There's the thing I was thinking of, though. Are you out of there now? <laughs> Music! Can you please get out of that room? Thank you, sir. Sir, you're out of the room, please. Please stop being a piece of shit. Thank you. If I take the sepia one and put it up there, maybe that'll save Christmas. I might have to start down at this clock to make this happen. Go in the thing. All right, up, up, up. Those are some very steep stairs, by the way. All right. It might be enough just to get that thing away from him. To get the uh, record, to be honest. Oh, someone's in here. 
They've just left. Uh... Where's Red? I need him to play piano. We are meant to rehearse. Okay, there she is. There's the room. Oh, wait. The record player's gone. Me, me, me. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might have to start that one downstairs. Ahem. Ahem. No, there's the record player. I'm just stupid. Let's see what's in here while we wait. Let's see. Bella Canto, a singer who was possessed who possessed an unheard of vocal range. She was able to hit the diamond note, the C10, which was meant to shatter diamond. Late mentor of Tequila Bell. Well, we've seen that before. Homeless Joe Blow. Known for known as the harmonica saint, Joe was playing as a busker. When a high-ranking priest walked by, he became a prominent fixture in the Vatican City. Ludwig, Ludwig von Ludacris pioneered a blending of classic organ with skank hop into a new and broadly unlistenable genre of sound. Alright, so apparently he's still doing this. Hmm. Yeah, she's still gonna die. What am I missing then? Hmm. A microphone is sitting next to the gramophone. Perhaps they were practicing here. Hmm. Maybe switch the notes somehow? Yeah, I'm thinking if we get her to practice with that off-key one, that'll make the difference. Which means I need to start downstairs. Let's try starting downstairs. If that doesn't work, then I'll we'll have to try something else. Because she just offed herself. I need to also figure out how I can navigate this map correctly. No, don't do it! Well, I guess we could watch this from this angle. Oh, she's ringing it for help. And then she just fucking bled out? Is that what I'm saying? Boof. Oh, there's something there, isn't there? One second. Come back. I see something there by the piano. And that's just... L Lustrous Black Ebony. Feels familiar. Okay, so that's not anything of worth. That thing is so sparkly down there, but I don't think it's of any consequence. Okay, so I think I have the right idea. I just need to work on my execution. I guess we'll see. Can you please move? Thank you. We have plenty of time to get over here. Huh, he dropped a lock there. Is there any way we can get in that room? All signs point to maybe, but not now. All right, let's tune our thing. And let's go ahead and reset the day. Now we're going to immediately go up, grab the record, run upstairs, try to slap that on the uh, the phone so she has bad practice. And maybe that's a puzzle. Maybe we puzzled it out. Yes, yes, yes. Theater! Give me that thing. 
It has her face on it also, which is kind of funny. Quickly, quickly now. With great haste, we must ascend the stairs. I'm sure one of the masks will allow me to go through all these flaming doors. These flaming hot Cheeto doors. All right, what's gonna be the fastest way over there? I like how the ghosts are on the map there. That's good. I still need to go this way. Yes, yes, yes. Get out of my way. All right, so we go around there, we go through these two rooms, and we should be able to slap it on there. Then maybe watch her practice. Okay, she's not in there. All right, now we just need to wait for her to come over here. We know for a fact that she's downstairs currently. Let's go ahead and take a look in here, see if he's playing on the piano. Maybe I can grab that key. Oh, he's coming for us. Run, 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 run. I believe he is coming into this room. Here we go. Who left this on? Trying to push my boundaries of the musical coherence? Someone just leaves this noise playing? I swear, if I wasn't already murdering someone today, I'd think about doing it anyway. Okay. So that upsets him at the very fucking least. And now he's just going to walk back in there. So there's a chance for us to actually go in there about 2 o'clock and grab that key if we want to. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. So that's how we get him out of the room. So we can grab the key. I'm not sure what the hell that does otherwise. The only reason he got up is because I slapped it on the player. Not one to tickle my own keyboard, but this should be quite spectacular. Mr. Sixpence has already been taken care of. I hope the two diamonds isn't mad that I'm not there to clean up. Let's set the scene. Oh hey, pardon me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm leaving. Don't, don't hurt me. All right. Still trying to figure out what I need to do. Because obviously I need to get that key. For something. I'm not sure what. Because I can go in here. Ah. Huh. Maybe I could turn on that record here. Then go and lock this door? Okay, obviously the solution is somewhere in these phonographs. So I could go in here, I could grab the key. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Because obviously I can use the key to lock this door. He will not be able to do anything about it, but I need the key first to do that. Maybe it's all a bunch of fucking... Okay, I think I... Let's try something real quick. I think I have an idea. I'll play it, and as soon as he gets up, I'll take it off, and then we'll go grab the key, go in that other room, and do the same thing. And then he will not be able to actually get it done, and he will be very, very upset. Eh? Eh? Let's see if this works. 
Also, we're going a little over time of the day. That's all right. I want some closure, damn it. Give me that thing. Thank goodness I remembered this from earlier. This does seem to be the key to this. Game also switching it up. You know, keys typically meant to open things, may be used to, like, lock things in this case. I think the room adjacent to it that saw me is the storage room. It's just not locked. And that's the thing. What we're gonna do is we're going to be... Let me pick this up for no fucking reason. I think that's actually gonna be useful in that next room. Yeah, there's all sorts of stupid things we gotta do here. Gas goes. Get out of my way. Go! It's the key to solve the mystery. Wait, 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 wait. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and s first take this. Then we're gonna put on this one. Then once we know he's coming, we're gonna pick it up, run out of the room, maybe even through the room he's in. I what now? All right, so now he's coming. Will you fucking move? Thank you. <laughs> Let's go this way, it doesn't matter. Because he's gonna go see what that noise was. We're gonna just go and yank this key right off of here. Oh, that was a ghost going in there. I was all, what the fuck was that? Put it on there. Good. Just needed to press the right button. It's already defaulted to the key, and now we're gonna lock this. The door locks. Is there a thing for me to like hide in in there? No. Hopefully, you can hear through the wall. Otherwise, my plan is not gonna work out so hot. No more distraction. It is time for the main event. Not one to tickle my own keyboard. But this is going to be quite spectacular. So. That achieved nothing, is what you're saying. Hmm. Now he seems to be content there. Let's try another record then, damn it. through the door. Thank you. Huh. No. Maybe I should lock him inside that room. I'm not sure if I can. That's the thing. It's like, how do I lure him into that room? Hmm. Because he doesn't seem to be hearing it on this side. What am I missing here? Because he can... It's kind of bullshit they can hear it from here. I mean, it is... Ah, I mean, they're kind of a quick distance. This has one wall between it. This has two. This room, room seems to be closer than the other room with the player. I know. That's why I'm kind of confused. There's a mic next... Ah.
I don't think I have enough time to get over there to save her, but I have a whole hour. Come on, let's go. Maybe if I do it now, it'll upset him, right? Damn it, she's gonna die. Yeah, she's already fucking killed herself, damn it. Can you pull down the old mic in the storage room? I don't think so. You know what, fuck you guys, I'm walking through here. No, I can't. It's just a... Uh... Oh, maybe I can do it here. Ah, maybe that's it. Well, it says she's already dead. I feel like I'm being obtuse. I feel like I'm right there on the cusp. I just don't know what the game wants. You know what I mean? It feels like I have sort of a solution, but it's not the game solution, so it's on. It's saying no. We of course do have this whole thing with the candles as well. There's no way for me to turn these on as far as I'm aware. Even though we have ghosties in here. Okay, I think I might be missing a piece of the puzzle. I'm gonna say, if that copy's home, I can say that I am, in fact, missing a piece of the puzzle. I'd actually appreciate that. It's not that complicated in the end. I think most things are. So the way I'm doing it is overcomplicated? Is that what you're saying? Maybe this whole fucking storage key business isn't even needed. Okay, I have one more thing I'm gonna try. Which will be putting it in there. Ah! I think I know how to do it. I think I know how to do it. I think we have the right solution. It's just, I did it in here and that's sort of like a demonstration of how it works. But, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna go and put it in the storage room. Then I'm gonna go ahead and, like, like you said, try to lock him in it. I think he's just scripted not to do it twice. And that's what's fucking with my head. It's not that he can't hear it, it's just that he'll only hear it once. That's my plan, anyway. And we know that he'll go ahead and go through the room. And that's how we can lock him in there, and then he'll just not, you know, kill her. That might be as fucking simple as it is. I think that's the one thing that, if this isn't back the solution that fucked with me, is like he didn't seem to hear it the second time. Go up. I do 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 do. Speed. Yes, ghost, get out of my way. It sure would. Okay, we can hear him playing the piano. Jazz music stops, good. Let's see, is he coming? Here comes the Philistine. Who the fuck is saying that? Is it me? <laughs> okay, good. He is leaving. This is exactly the fucking answer. God damn it. <laughs> I 
All right, so that one I feel like I actually had the puzzle out. Suck it, nerd. There we go. The day is saved. What the hell? I'm bloody locked in. So yeah, there's a lot of red herrings in this one. Like you have the candle there, like maybe the ghost can stop her. But no, you just have to make sure you remember there was a record down there. Lefcadio, I wasn't expecting you. Everyone knows him. I have to practice for this big finale. But Red isn't here for here to play for me. Would you mind? You play so beautifully. Okay. That's Lafio's, you know, canon voice, by the way. I had a dream that I wrote a horrible song, Lafcadio. I was it was a jealous mean piece. I didn't mean it. I always loved Lucas, but I wish the two of them <laughs> I wish the two of them every happiness. Everyone is in the same group of friendos. That's why they all know you, I see. Oh, the song. He had me write this for her so long ago. It's perfect. From the top, then. Beautiful. That was beautiful, Arcadio. She will be she will love hearing it. For some reason he is very, very distraught with this. Maybe he her singing just brought him the tears. Maybe that's all it is. Behold, you have been saved. Are we going to have a another meeting with our Splatoon woman? Ah, there she is. Right on time. Singular clap. Take her mask. Then come to the window. Okay. What powers are we going to get from this one? Tequila's shattering voice. The singer's Tequila Bell has one of the most powerful and beautiful voices ever heard. Tequila's mask allows you to shatter delicate glass with her voice. Smash mosaic glass objects by using the power. Then when the prompt appears, I'm guessing we can smash the urn. I think it's even displayed right there in that picture. This window is a secret boon. Tequila's voice, shall we say, it resonates in this mansion. Use the power she gave you. Is this really a great idea? Didn't that just murder her? Oh, I guess when you're facing it, it falls that way. Okay. <laughs> this room used to be the orchestra pit for the room below, the theater. Can you imagine what this place would have been in the height of its glory? The shows, the music, the life. Tequila loved to stand up here high, but the Marquis decided it was too dangerous. Her personal enjoyment was sacrificed for the greater good. Sometimes we have to hurt people to help them move on. The path has become clear, Boone. Or will become clear. I'm sorry. What? What? 
Wah! Game over, yeah! Hey there, Solo the First Hero. You're just in time to see us get murdered, apparently. Game has taken an interesting turn and broken its loop. She believes she was keeping you safe, yes. Very clever. Hey, is that gentleman with the gold skull head? Are you the Marquis? I suspect you might be. You're gonna snap? There you go. Sometimes you need to hurt people to move forward, that's right. But I think she was rather overplaying her hand. I will find her and then be back for you. In the meantime, please enjoy the show. Did you just activate that that clock for me? Is that what that was? A stylish sense of dread is something, a achievement I just got. All right, we find ourselves in a new place. There's popcorn about. And all sorts of other things. We're apparently halfway through the game looking at this. We're now down here. We've been, been down here kind of before. We're not too far off. So this is the stage. This is where we have we've arrived. And there's another place. Next time, we will go ahead and try to save some other people. We have another couple here, another couple here, and then one here. Maybe we're actually more than halfway, considering there's only three left. And also, we only have two more masks to collect. How about that? I'm not sure what the imitations are. We ha There are apparently 52 cards as well. That is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> kind of obnoxious. How big is this place? Well, find out next time. We apparently have a map off there in the distance. distance. Ground floor, first floor... There's a possible another floor there. Maybe a base mount. This one doesn't even have any sort of indicator of where it is. Anyway, it's been fun, and I'll see you then.